Bam, what's goody? Jordan Baywood here. We are on episode four of mixing a vocal from scratch in Logic Pro, breaking down the plugins. So we already went over auto-tune pitch correction, EQ, compression, leveling the vocals. Now I wanna add some sauce to it. I wanna start talking about some vocal effects and how I go about them. So we're gonna listen to what we have now and get right into it. Let's go. Let me get the keys to the car. Bring it straight to the top. It's a vibe. Ain't too worried about the clock. Yeah, we go, no stop. First off, they sound a bit dry. So I'm gonna try two different things. I'm gonna try um, an exciter that's in Logic Pro, and then I'm gonna try a short reverb. Maybe both might work, but that's just my work process. So let's open up a new plugin. We're gonna go to Specialized and Exciter. This is a very hidden gem. What this is doing, it's adding harmonics. It's adding more sounds to a specific location that we give it, um, and it can really beefen up and make your sound more full. So let's try this out. Let me get the keys to the car. Straight to the top It's a vibe Ain't too worried about the clock Yeah, we can go no stops We can ride all day What I really love doing, honestly, guys Is around 16K That's which, where you're gonna get that vocal air You're gonna get that presence Nice, crispy, airy sound The keys to the car Bring it straight to the top It's a vibe now, what I'm about to do is something called bussing. I'm gonna bus the reverb only because we have about 12 other tracks that need to be mixed. So we can send the reverb to, let's say, bus two. It doesn't, the buses don't matter, but let's say we're gonna send a reverb there. I love Space Designer and Chroma Verb. Dries off. The reason why we're bussing because each individual track we can control how much reverb we're getting. Instead of having 12 instances of reverb, which will slow down your computer massively. So this is why I talk about bussing and grouping in my thing. It's because if I only had one vocal, I would just put the, the reverb directly on it. And then what I would do is turn the dry all the way up and then I would dial in this wet knob to see how much reverb I'm getting. It's really when you're like, hey, I don't wanna put on four different instances of the reverb plugin because it uses up a lot of CPU in your computer. Vocal effects are killer for this. And the more you reverbs and all these effects you're putting on, the harder your computer is gonna be working and then it could slow down your computer and slow down your whole process and cause little weird glitches. Any vocal effect plugin that has a dry wet knob, you can put it directly on it's gonna give you the same thing. But like I said, I'm gonna use this for a small reverb because on these, we might wanna use more because they're background ad-libs and harmonies and stuff. So we might wanna, on those, increase this. Uh, let's get a nice small little reverb going. I love little small reverbs because it can really clean up and just make us sound rich. We're gonna turn dry all the way down. Let me get the keys to the car. Bring it straight to the top. It's a vibe. Oh Lord, you guys hear how good that, that just sounds so good to me. Let me get the keys to the car. Straight to the top, it's a vibe. Ain't too worried about the clock. Yeah, we can go, no stops. We can ride all day. Yeah, we can ride all day. Yeah. Let me get the keys to the car. Bring it straight to the top, it's a vibe. Ain't too worried about the clock. I honestly, I like the small reverb on this. I don't think we even need a large reverb. So I'm gonna try a stereo delay. This would really give it stereo feel. I have it set to one eighth, one eighth. Might go down to one fourth. Let's try. Let me get the keys to the car. Bring it straight to the top. It's a vibe. Ain't too worried about the clock. Yeah, we can go, no stops. We can ride all day. Yeah. We can ride all day. Yeah. Ooh, hold up. That's what I'm feeling. Um, we're gonna add one more thing now. This is super important. A lot of these professionals, they have this like voice that's just sitting so on the beat. We're gonna add some chorus. We're gonna spread a bit of the vocal. So we're gonna actually bust it because we may want to put some harmonies right to the left and right. So let's add a chorus to bus. And I already have it defaulted to 100 mix, 100 intensity, and a rate of 0 0.033. This is gonna prevent any phasing issues, so I would highly recommend saving this setting. Save as default. This is really the only setting I use with chorus. If I put it directly on a track, obviously I'm gonna mess with the mix, maybe 20, 30, um, sometimes 100 if I really wanna spread it all the way out. So I'm gonna slowly increase this up until I feel like it's nice sitting right where I want to. Let me get the keys to the car. Bring it 
straight to the top It's a vibe Ain't too worried about the clock Yeah, we can go, no stops We can ride all day Yeah We can ride all day Yeah This is the end of this episode If you guys enjoyed this, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button Turn it to confetti And make sure if you're new here and you're not subscribed Smash that subscribe button if you enjoy learning about vocal mixing tips and tricks If you have any ideas or questions, please leave them down below I read every single comment And I also answer every single comment If you have any questions at all, I'm always here to help And I appreciate you guys If you want some free templates or free presets Check them out in my description below And if you're interested in large, awesome vocal presets Set packs, check out jordanbayo.com. Let's make more music. Peace.